Hello. This video is exceptionally late. Uh, this is week one of the NCL, and I've already uploaded week two, and week three is going up tomorrow. So let's just get this out of the way. My team's on the right. You can see his team on your screen. Um, the first five mons being Manchine, Alakazam, Kieran, Swamper, Grimmsnarl. Not entirely surprising brings. Uh, Primate being there is kind of surprising. I was definitely expecting Scizor. Otherwise, because that was, would have been his best response to Rillaboom. Um, but I have a very offensive Rillaboom in this game that he has no switch-ins to. Uh, Kyurem is not a switch-in because it has its speed dropped by drum beating, and then I can low kick it for big, big damage. So naturally, I'm going to decide to lead with my Rillaboom so I can get the early offensive pressure right out of the gate. And the only thing that would force me out on his entire team is Kyurem. I would just click drum beating against anything else that I see. So drum beating is 25% and that reveals that this Kyurem is not defensively invested whatsoever. He has no HP or defense investment. He is most likely timid, max speed, max special attack, specs. 100% specs by that damage that he did to Pori Matu. So, I just get Trick Room up. I'm not sure if he wants to stay in and continue clicking Ice Beam, but Trick Room is just the best all-around play, because if he does stay in, I can recover the next turn, and if he switches out into something like this, then I get a free Toxic up instead. And he doesn't appear to have any status or taunt for my, um, my Porygon 2, and he's actually not even Prankster Grimmsnarl, he's just, uh, Frisk, so, oh no, you frisked my Violite! Well, I was a Porygon 2, I don't think you need a Frisk to determine that anyway. So, we get a free Toxic on the Grimmsnarl and recover up to full, we get our camera up to in on the last turn of Trick Room, Mantine is obviously here to check the camera up, we actually brought Rock Slide, which is Sheer Force boosted to hit the Mantine if we need it, but getting rocks up is of more importance. So, I did not realize that Defog in this generation now gets rid of terrains on the field, so it Defog away my rocks and my Rillaboom's grassy terrain, which is actually pretty interesting, but that means that I could actually bring in uh, Halucha without activating my Grassy Seed yet against the Curum to force it out and get damage off against the Swampert. And I should have known that the Swampert is going for rocks and I kind of wanted, like, if I had thought more about that play, Hatterene would have kind of came in there and got the magic bounce off and I would have bounced the, the rocks back against him and then I just would have gone real good in the next turn, but... Real booming against Swampert is not a good matchup for him because he has no switch ins and he's now realizing this having let both his Mantine and his Grimmsnarl take over 60% from a drum beating. Uh, he is going to get actually quite a powerful sucker punch off against me and bring me down after Grassy Terrain I'll be up. Oh no, I'm switching out apparently because I killed him with U-Turn. I did not want to stay in, I guess, because I didn't want to let Kyurem come in, but Kyurem comes in against Drapion anyway. I'm not entirely sure what I was... what the goal was getting Drapion in this position. Um, because I basically let him kill it. And now I have a lot less checks to make an Alex Zam in the back. Uh, but we do just get a free switch into Halucha, and we get a high jump kick, and KO the Kyurem. And now that means Alakazam can come, can come in, and you're about to see a massive mistake that I made in prep. I have no reason to be downloaded this week, nothing was giving me a special attack boost. Um, and instead I just let Alakazam trace my own download so I could give him a plus one boost in special attack. Oh 
boy, I swear I thought I was about to get 4 would But thankfully, he decides to switch out his camera up, thinking that uh, he might not be able to oko me, and camera up could probably oko him. But I actually went for Yawn, uh, because that was just the overall best play, I feel. Because I feel like um, once he was asleep, then mission accomplished, like threat threat averted, so I forced him out with Yawn, and then I just bring in Ruler Boom against his Mantine every single time, uh, but I caught him going for a close combat trying to uh, knock out the Ruler Boom right there, and sw switched into Hatterene which four times resists, get a free Trick Room up, and luckily for me, I have Psy Shock to hit the Mantine on the physical, de physical defensive side. So I can knock out the Mantine, and now I have three more turns of Trick Room, and Hatterene de definitely gets at least one more free kill. Uh, it is bulky enough to survive uh, a Shadow Ball, it would have 100% gone down uh, had, um, <laughs> had I brought this in against Alakazam when it was at plus one special attack. But he, I guess he sacks off the Primeape. Something was gonna die on that turn anyway, pretty much, unless he wanted to bring in Swampert, but it looked, Swampert looked like it had a chance to be two hit KO'd as well. So now at this point, Hatterene did the appropriate breaking to open the door for Halu Judges' sweep on a grassy terrain because Rillaboom can come in, KO the Swampert. I believe Rillaboom picks up two KOs in this game. Yep, two KOs for Rillaboom, two KOs for Hatterene and two KOs for Halucha, because Halucha came in earlier before its Grassy Seed was activated and KO the Kurem, and now he's going to KO the Mega Alakazam. So, that was how our Week 1 game went. We won 2-0. A lot better of a game than our Week 2 game, where we lost 5-0. And tomorrow you will see a proper uh, post-commentated battle, followed by a, uh, er, the team builder, of course, will be first, and then we'll have the actual battle afterwards against Matt and the Green Bay Glissbots, who I've never played before, but I, he's been around the NCL for a while, and I know he's a quality opponent, so I will have to be prepared to bounce back from that, uh, gruesome defeat at the hands of Corona. So, yeah, thanks for watching, and we'll see you back tomorrow for another NCL battle.